Today we're going to be using Canva to create B-roll for a dramatic and hopefully comedic effect for one of our videos. That's the plan anyway. So it's been a manic coffee fueled week for Pixel Haze and Pixel Haze Academy. We have been in the process of fully revamping our store ready for our version 1.0 release. I'll put a link in the description for you so you can head over and see what we've got in store. Spoiler alert, we're looking at loads of templates at really effective prices and plugins. At the moment, they're for Squarespace, but watch this space because we'll be creating a series of Canva goodies for you as well. Head over, take a look. But right now, let's crack on with today's tutorial. Okay, so we've got our uh, original blue screen of death on screen. I found this one on Google. It's a desktop wallpaper. Shouldn't really do this, but I don't really want to try and break my computer to get a, an example on there as well. So we're going to modify this one and we're going to be creating this effect here. <laughs> Only the thing is, I'm not quite happy with that transition at the moment. It's just going from the blue gently to the red, where I want it to be a little bit more dramatic. So let's have a look at this first. I'm going to duplicate the page just so I've got a backup in case this process goes wrong. I haven't tried this aspect before. First of all, I'm going to detach the image from the background. Sometimes when we add an image in and snap it into place, it'll affix it to the background. That means certain things can't be done as easily with it. So just right click and choose detach from background so we can manipulate that individually. So I'm going to use the background remover tool. I believe this is, yep, this is a pro tool. So you need a paid version of Canva. I'll put a link in the description for our affiliates. If you're going to buy it, buy it through us and I'll create more videos for you as a thank you. I'm going to use the background remover tool and hopefully we're going to get rid of the blue screen because we want to change this to red. And that's come out pretty good actually. The text is still pretty clear and crisp. I've just brought this up here because I don't think we need all of that information and the QR code and everything in there. It's the visual effect that we're after. So we're using a bit of dramatic license to simplify. That's the first step. The next step, we're going to now be able to get rid of that screen, but I might just keep it on there for now. And then I'm going to duplicate the page. What we are going to do though is use the color swatch, add a new color and then go to the color picker and pick that background color. And it should save it in the document, but just in case I'm just copying that hexadecimal color swatch there. And now we can put that in as the background here. So as we can see, it's, it's found it there. So, so we want the authentic blue screen of death color first. Then we switch to a bright red screen to reference the anger of the user. If you've been a PC user for a long time like myself, you'll certainly understand and get this feeling. We can see at the moment it's not quite bright. It's fighting with the red for position. So I'm going to just see if there's anything I can do with the brightness. We can see by bringing the brightness up a little bit, there's a tiny bit more clarity. It is a tiny bit though. And I think we're going to go slightly less striking, not quite so much fire engine red for that, just so it doesn't hurt the eyes of the viewer. As we switch between blue and red, we've got our instant transition. What we can do is flicker it back and forth a couple of times. We're going to try and just get that static switch over between the two. So I've created a shape that's quite small. I can move it using that cross arrows there. We're going to do a frowny face and maybe even show some teeth on our sad face here. So it turns from sad to angry. So this next part is not our greatest moment. So we thought we'd speed it up for you. It took me far too long to create what should have been a simple angry face graphic. So I thought I'd leave it in there just to show you that even experienced designers are not bulletproof when it comes down to things like this that we haven't spent a huge amount of time planning beforehand. But essentially what we're doing is we are finding a way of masking the eyes. And it took me a while to realize that I needed to get rid of the eyes to get the true frowny face, angry face in place. So that's what we did here. I've sped it up at three times the speed, just so you can see how it all develops on the timeline. Enjoy my misery.
certainly happy with that than I was before. It's simpler, it's effective, and it just takes it from sad face to sad and angry face. Okay, so now we've got that bit done. Took a lot longer than I was hoping for originally. We're going to look at the transition between the two. We could look at duplicating this option, blue one here and then duplicating the red again. So we can create that flicker for our B-roll. Sad face, angry face, sad face, angry face. If we have this neon effect, we can add a bit of static and change over between them. And now we're going to have this down to about two seconds, maybe three. This one down to one second. Maybe half a second for this one or so, and then five seconds to finish. I think we're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna just drop it down just to the blue and the red. By grouping the box that I've put over top of the round eyes and the image behind, what that means is that neon effect will only apply to separated elements. So anything that's grouped will be treated the same. Test that neon effect now. We can see the eyes flash in, but we don't get the distraction of the round eyes behind. Hope that makes sense. I think we're happy now with, with those two b-roll footage in there we can cut between the two and have a look at how we're going to do that but i'm much happier with that now we can share download the graphic as an mp4 video we only need two pages so i can uncheck the select all page option and shoot page five and six only and download it as mp4 there we go so that's how we can create B-roll in Canva using the effects that are available in the software. We couldn't do this without the Canva Pro version. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to take a look. There we go. Not bad. Happy with that. Catch you next time.